Hi everyone. Hi guys. Um, today is a sort of big, big one, isn't it? We're doing one of our lists. Yeah. We don't do it all the time, but we like every no. now and then just to sort of say. I think especially our top tens, top fives. I think it's been a very fragrant year. It has, yes. It's time to take stock. Quite emotional. Yeah, quite emotional, quite fragrant. Um, these are our best buys of 2019 yeah. fragrances, which we have spent our own um, hard-earned money on. Our top five. Yeah. Each, we're having five each. And for I mean, for people like us who love fragrances and also love drinking. <laughs> There's a very strong possibility that this fragrance list starts at approximately 11.59 on the 31st <laughs> of January 2018. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's been difficult and it's also been very difficult to keep it to five. Yeah, we've brought just bought a load, haven't we? I've got eight. I've um, got eight or nine. <laughs> yeah. and, we're, and I will see how things go. I know what my, num my first choice is, but I am, I'm not sure... Uh, well, I basically have three honourable mentions and I haven't decided how it's going to work. No, I think, I think basically we love all of these and we're just going to pull them out, aren't we? Yeah. And it's, it's, it's hard because we love all of them like family and if you offend one of them by saying you're not my favourite, then you can't have them for lunch. it might smell like poo the Maybe next week. day. Yeah. yeah. So, who wants to go first? Um, I think you should go first. <clears throat> okay, so I'll go first. So this, this, this is one which was... My first choice is very easy. This I bought on about... Uh, the 2nd of January when I was on holiday uh, and I had taken a decant of it with me it was about the third or fourth decant I was going through and I thought I just need to buy this because this is absolutely one of my favourite fragrances and I'm so 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 glad I did this is almost signature scent worthy oh. almost one of my absolute um, favourite fragrances it is Chiffre uh from MDCI and it's wow. already <laughs> looking um you know, like, like I've used quite a lot of it. I mean, but even so, let's give it a spray because... That's just from him smelling it from the cap. It's <laughs> yeah. so powerful that he just um, absorbs it. And it, it is one... I think I've... Yeah, I've got a few fragrances this year, which I don't believe in a signature scent, but they're almost signature scent worthy. This is definitely one... You know, when we had to choose a kind of king of fragrances... <sighs> I, it, because it just kind of does everything. It's it's it's, get away for that. it's bright. It's dark. It's sweet. It's resonance. It's energetic. It's sexy. It's hot. Oh. Oh, it's complex, but there's also a kind of a lightness and brightness and fresh to it. You can wear it every day. You can wear it in the winter. You can wear it in the summer. It, I mean, it really it really takes all of the boxes for me. Yeah, that's absolutely wonderful perfume. Back to the four. I mean, it, it it's as if it's as if you could. If you could take a perfumer and distill a life's work and then say, right, the, the what would you come out with at the other side? So good. Like, oh. It's sweet and aldehyde and bitter. And it has all, it's like great food, isn't it? It has all of the contrasts. I've Where there's acidity, think, there's sweetness. Where there's a grapefruit there, and actually, I have really got grapefruit. Probably is there some sort of really bright grapefruit there. Mm. Anyway, that is my, that one is a very easy one for me. Yeah, it's wonderful. In about the first week of the year, but. That's yeah. definitely one of our best buys. And the bust on top is actually me. Yes. Because yes. he you didn't see, realise this, but I'm actually this famous. Model, model of the show. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's not quite got my arms right. Yeah, I actually haircut, had but, some. Yeah, but yeah. So wonderful stuff. Yeah. Right. I keep going off camera for this because I have a case over here. Yeah. Um, to make it dramatic. But where am I going to start? Well, let's see. Um, well, I'm going to start with one of my more recent purchases. Um, which is a fragrance I've, I've loved for a long time, and it's an old classic, but I managed to get a slightly vintage -y bottle. It's not ultra vintage, but it's moderately old, which is this bad boy here, Jiki, the EDP. I love the fragrance, which is the main reason I got it, but another reason I got it is because I've wanted one of these lovely, one of these cases for a while that it comes in. I can't remember the name of the case, but I just call it shiny gold pretty, and that's it there. Um, Do you know when this is from? Do I don't know the exact year this is from, um, I have to say, but it's definitely, it's pre the most recent sort of terrible reformulations of, of the sort of mid to late 2000s. Um, not late 2000s, <laughs> that would be a long time away. <laughs> but I think, I want to say mid 90s, I might be inaccurate okay. there. Someone, I mean, someone check it out, I've not even checked the batch code on this. But it's definitely, it's more potent than the stuff that, mm. that's out there now. Um, 
Do you wonder if I have a little Please, go for it. Little squirts, okay. I've never actually used one of these bottles. The lid is really bloody hard to put back on. Because I, I disassembled it to see what's inside, and inside are just the refill bottles. Oh, which that's, are very that's nice. really like bright, like big opening. It's a, it's, it's a sort of huge the, energetic thing. That's very different to the modern. Is it EDP? Is it? EDP, yeah. yeah. And that's it comes. I mean, I'll, I'll disassemble it. This is, I just did that mistakenly, but it just comes with a little thing like this. That's so different from the modern EDP. Isn't it? Yeah. But it settles on skin, it gets very nutty and biscuity. And it, it's a very interesting direction it takes. That's lovely. Um, I'm not going to do this. broken it from I'm going to do that later because yeah. that needs <laughs> it, an hour or two of dedicated work. That is a. But it's a real one. beauty, isn't it? Right. What is my number oh. uh, two? Right, okay. So, uh, right. I'm, this is going to be my, my number two. This is one that um, I knew about for about a year and I. It's from a house which I like a lot. It's from the house of Prim Parfum, which is a house which is actually ah. no more, but it's being resurrected. So when we first bought Prim Parfum, the one I first fell in love with was Turkish leather. Um, oh, that's but great. This stuff. fragrance I bought this year. Um, I bought it from Rulier White. I think it's one of the last bottles they have of it, and oh, I think yeah. it's now surpassed as um, Turkish leather. It's my favourite from Prim Parfum. It is uh, more uh, from the House of uh, Prim Parfum. Um, beautiful stuff. And again, this is another one which is almost signature scent worthy. Totally. For me. It's because yeah. it's, I think this year I've just really, really got into Sheepras. And it's, yeah. and it's this combination of bitter and sweet, yeah. which you get with Sheepras. You kind of get bright, energetic, uplifting opening, but there's also rich, oh. resinous quality. Oh, so good, I just yeah. love it, and, but this is a kind of it, different. There's a kind of incense ashy <sighs> quality to this. This doesn't yeah. feel like a classic sheep at all. It's very much a modern take. It's all if you could take all of the most beautiful florals and oak moss, mm. but then sort of filter them through that wonderful smokiness of a snuffed match. Yeah. At the same time, gorgeous. I mean, I have, that was the one that I was most taken with. When we first way back did that, yeah, I remember that blind smelling, wasn't it? it? You bought it. Um, this was you, the first one I bought. You bought yeah, it last year, and it took me a while, but but now I have it. Oh, I love it. And it's so this, beautiful, isn't it? Again, this is all a signature scent, kind of worthy for me. Yeah. It just like, for me, it feels what. I mean, I'm really, really interested in kind of sheepers, and this is. This, there is a, a, a slight nod to the past, but this feels like such a kind of contemporary, yeah. original take on 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 the sheep. And um, Prin Parfum is no more, but uh, Prin Lomros will be re-releasing this. He is alive and well. We yeah. should point that out. <laughs> he's, he's sorry. Yeah, Prin Lomros is alive and well. He's re-releasing this, and it's going. It's exactly the same. He's not changing it at all. Yeah. So I mean, keep your eyes peeled. If you, I mean, if you try and buy this now in Rudier White, they may still have it. I don't know, but. I, t I tried very recently to get another Turkish leather, and they're all gone. I mean, that's that's vanished. But for they're me, wonderful. This is now my favourite. Yeah, part. stunning. I'm so I'm so glad I bought it. Okay. See, we're buying good shit in 2019, aren't we? Yeah. Pardon my friends. It's going well. Okay. What is your number two? Number two. Not it's nutty and viscous. Number two. I'm going into my little box of tricks. Number two. I'm changing my order from my initial thoughts, but actually, this is something that that I've I've loved for a long time. Ooh. The old civet from Zoologist, um, because I'm still in my vintage phase. I love all my I love all my old school sheepers, and, and again another sheeper style <laughs> perfume. But I mean, give I mean give that a whirl. You've smelled this before, I'm I sure. Have, but, but I would I would love to smell it again. Um, it's beautiful. I wore this last night, just one spray on my hand. Um, just to be comforted. It's so warm and inviting. And the animalic aspect of this is just about the warmth and the coziness. There's nothing of the, Ooh, the yeah, pissy yeah. sort of so aggression of civet. Immediately hugging, isn't it? It just envelops you in this sort of warm I fuzz. It's not strange, it's really, really good. And it has this base note of, of, of civet coffee. Mm. Um, civ sorry, well, civet and coffee, but I think, I, I think like Mora, it might be the civet coffee. Mm. The sort of the, the little beans that the little cats eat, I think. But Victor Wong, if you're out there, you can correct me. Um, oh, that's, I haven't smelled this very It's beautiful, it's, isn't it? It's it's the only perfume I own where I would say 
I don't mind the fact that it feels like it doesn't have a top, middle, and a bottom, and it's just a bass note. I feel we've gone straight to bass. Yeah, yeah. it's it's this it's is this is what I crave at the end of a perfume when I cuddle up on the sofa, and you get it straight away, and it just it sort of stays there in this beautiful and enveloping warmth. I get a lot warmth. of what I get from Sheep Propeller Tan. I get that really resonant, yeah. rich hugging this. Okay. A slight honeyed sweetness going yeah. on. I, I think it's really beautiful. It's, you know, for me, slightly underrated because I think a lot of people probably think it's going to be a barnstorming fecal mess, and it's it's not. It's just <laughs> easy going. It really. I mean, it, it is not skanky. It's warm, no. sex, but it's not skanky. I mean, I mean, beautiful list of notes there as well. You've got all the florals in the heart, all the traditional citruses in the top, but then oak moss, leather, vanilla. Civet, coffee, incense, labdanum in the base, musks, you know, it's so good. lovely stuff. Amazing. Zoologist does it again. Right. Love them. So my number three. Um, right, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, right, I'm gonna go for oh. Maximus by Bortnikov. Awesome. This is one which I um, bought, actually bought through a Facebook, um, I think it's a Bortnikov um, fan page. <laughs> so I got, oh, it, yeah, so yeah. I got it less than the retail. Um, Bortnikov is a house I discovered this year, and it was a house we should. We often ask for suggestions about yeah, what we should explore. And that came we, up, didn't it? We are big fans of Arise de Dore. People suggested that if you love Russian Alvin's work, you should check out Dmitry Bortnikov's work. Yeah. And um, the first one I bought was Amber Cologne, which I really, really love, and it's filled a big gap in terms of an exciting summer scent. But this. Is my, this is where it's at. This is my favourite one yeah. that I bought from the house, and I think at the moment it's probably my favourite oud. I mean, the, the, the opening is quite. I've got it's, a it's reasonably kind of challenging. It's really big. Oh. It's quite cheesy, quite kind of skanky in the opening. But even from your kind of first spray, you get this these orangey citrus um, elements. And there's also this kind of oh. frangipani, which you get in so much of Bortnikov. You know, I've kind of now learned it kind of kind of runs through his work. God, do you know? Do you remember that really like arrestingly strong cheese we tried in Paris <laughs> that day? And it was it was under a sp we we were having lunch and there was a cheese plate, but there was one that was under a sort of protective Special dome. dome. Um, because we it was so powerful. It and the guy was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> he didn't want us to try that, man. But I, it's it's got the beautiful. It's what the makes a really good yeah. cheese. Is the sort of the the f you know sort of f the feet and the cheesy yeah. smell but also the sharpness and acidity you, yeah. you might get from something like cranberry or apricot wesley day isn't a stinky cheese but then but you get it but then this is also it's so creamy and it's so round it's so complex there's there's so much to it it's such a rewarding fragrance absolutely beautiful it just and it's so luxurious it's so 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 luxurious it's not a cheap fragrance I mean, I paid less than the retail. I think the retail was. I know they've. He's recently done a, a new version of this, but I think it's about 225 mm. euros uh, or dollars, maybe, um, for 50 mil of extra. So it's not cheap, but my God, it's amazing. Quite. Like, it's. it's it really but you're is. not. I mean, you're not paying for fancy packaging and fancy labels, are you? You're yeah. paying for the juice that's it's, in there. I mean, that smells expensive. Yeah, totally. That's opulent and beautiful. Yeah. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. Right, where am I going to go into my box of tricks? Um, I'm reversing my order slightly, but this is a, another little gem, which Dan knows well. Yeah. Mandarava. This is, again, by Prin Lomros. Sorry, but I don't care. I love his work, and th this is what I bought this year. I bought this at Nishtana, um, at very close together. But this one slightly takes the edge for me because I've got lots of beautiful incensey things of which Nishtana is at the top. But Mandarava, there you go, mate. Give that a, a little spritzy. Um, this thing is all the florals in the world. Um, and it really feels like, it feels like sort of florals that transport you and, and you sort of transcend the sort of disgusting smells of planet Earth. <laughs> but it's if it was possible for that to happen in a perfume. But is, is, isn't it inspired by uh, it is his, his, his grandmother, grandmother his yeah. His grandmother and, the, and what heaven smells like, and oh, it's just all the most incredible white florals. It's, I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? But so full of spice and mm. and and warmth, and uh, it, you know, I, I'm not normally a floral man in in the sense oh. of I just like the florals on on their own, but this has everything behind it. Mm. It's I got mean, all the in, the incense and the resinous stuff underneath. 
I don't own this fragrance. Um, my the fra my favourite fragrance from Prin that I own, Prin Nomos that I own, is Mora. But I mean, I think that's one of his very, 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 very best. It's very beautiful, isn't it? <clears throat> and it's one of these things that I wear, and it becomes. It's, it's interesting actually. This thing develops, and the base, the base of this actually segues nicely into Mora. There's there's some relative connection here, and I can't quite put my finger on it. But I love it. Every time I wear it, I'm just enveloped in this. And it, I mean, it needs skin, but it just warms yeah. up. And they all, all these flowers smell on the absolute edge of death and decay. Yeah. And it's absolutely beautiful for me. So yeah, here we are. Can I just have another? Mandarava. Slightly gothic, slightly... Oh, so rich sort of melancholic and, and aspect and to it. exotic as well. Yeah. And almost like you bite through it. Yeah, well, I mean, there are things in here from, you know, from... Um, Corners oh, of the world, like the, there's so a certain tree, I can't so remember yeah. the name of the tree, like Bo Bolu, Boya or something, in India. Mm. Um, I've not given you a great scientific <laughs> description there, but like really beautiful stuff. It's really special. Yeah. He does right. it again. I, I've got two more. I've got one, two, three, I've got five fragrances here and two to choose from. See, we love them all this much that it's really hard okay. to actually pick them out. Um, Right, okay, got it. Okay. <laughs> so, I've chosen two sheep for so far. I'm, I'm, I'm choosing another one. This is also another house which people uh, suggested, kept suggesting yeah. to try it. Um, but I was scared to try because the, the, um, the fragrances came in tiny little three mil bottles and didn't have an atomizer and I didn't understand yeah, it. It's um, new, isn't it? <laughs> and so I didn't understand it. But my God, I'm so glad I, I, I've tried it. It is um, Anson Chypre by ah, Sultan Pasha. And this... Genius. This is another one which could very, very easily be a, a signature scent. I'm so surprised by how many compliments I've got from wearing this one. Really? Um, this is the first one I bought... Um, first fragrance I bought. I thought I would just go ahead and buy a, a full 3ml bottle um, of this. It's got the little dabber here, I can't spare it, but... I mean, it's different. Like, this, this has got such a kind of nod yeah, to the past. Stunning. Like a classic it's absolutely kind of stunning. Cheaper. But yet, there's, there's such a, an amazing, bright, energetic, oh. citrusy opening to this. Yeah. Like, it, it, the, the juiciness of the bergamot, you can always imagine it being squeezed, but it's not even it being squeezed, like it's been sque just squeezed and then you've um, evaporated off all the water. Yeah. So you've just got this really intense, really juicy burn. And the oil, the actual oil from the skin as well, which gives it a lot more complexity. And even from that you can get this oak moss which is underriding it all. It's just... God, it's, it's so vintage as well. It's yeah, so it's beautifully so, vintage. It's so vintage. It's such... God. And I think maybe why I've been getting into sheep so much this year, it's again this balance of juiciness and richness, of yeah. brightness and darkness. You've got the darkness, bitterness of oak moss. That's all the contrast, the isn't it? Juiciness of bergamot and some other balsamic notes. And also the way the incense is used here. It's not an obvious sparkling, um, you know, sometimes al um, aldehydes combined with incense to make this bright, energetic, whereas it's not, that's not how incense is used here. No. It's, it's, it doesn't blind you. It doesn't sort of no, blind you away from no. everything else underneath it. Oh my god, it smells That's really beautiful. so good, and it's, <laughs> it just, it's, it smells, it's just one of those fragrances as well, that when you're wearing it, you just feel like a king, it feels so expensive. Yeah. Um, this is my first purchase of Sold and Pasha. Um, it's not actually my favourite um, Sold and Pasha that I know, I, I've got, I mean, there's another one which I, um, which he actually, I bought, um, the uh, FMR, um, just a one, uh, just a three mil bottle of that, and he included with that a one mil sample of Pirisoir, which I think ah. is my favourite Sultan Pasha I've tried so far, which is absolutely jaw-droppingly beautiful. So I think Pirisoir is the most yeah. beautiful Sultan Pasha I've smelt. But I wanted to include this one because it's as my best buy of the year, because I could wear this every single day of the week. Yeah, it's my first experience of Sultan Pasha, and it's just it's stunning. Absolutely Amazing. stunning. Amazing. That is my number four. See, we mustn't be scared of these atars. I think, actually, yeah. we just need to learn how to wear them and how to use them. Yeah. And they work. I just bought it 
Into my ears. Into, into your eyes. Yeah. What am I on now then? One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three. Three. We've got two more. So two more. Okay, this is so difficult, Daniel. Um, we can have loads of honorable mentions, can't we? Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, okay, number, number four is this little bugger here. The patchouli from Profumum Roma. Um, I bought this in Brussels. Did I buy it in Brussels? Yeah, in Brussels on the way back from being in France working. And I just had to have it, and it was there, and I thought, I'm getting it. Um, I love it. Like all Profumum Romas, they're quite, they're quite linear. What you get is what you get at the beginning. It stays with you for the rest of your life. And that's it. I mean, you've smelled this before, haven't you? But the beautiful thing. I would, to, I would love to smell it. Let's give it some spritzes. The mother. That's beautiful. I mean, it's earthy. It's got this damp soil. It's got the patchouli incense. There's a really beautiful sort of cho dark chocolatey thing going on. The other thing I get from this. Oh, it's, it's, it's really good, isn't it? It's so good. It's, um, th there is a relation to Ambra Aurea as well, I think. Yeah. Oh my God. That's Absolutely. So amazing. I think and what, boozy, despite not having yeah, any sort really of boozy, boozy. nose. I th but, but the labdanum of Ambra Aurea, but just the thing with um, Perfume Aroma, just the quality is absolutely batshit crazy. It's, off the it, charts, it's, yeah. it's, it's so, it's so, so, so high. It's just unbelievable. It just, it, there are no rough edges here at all. It just, it gives you, it gives you the smell you're going to get, and it says, "This is what we've put together. Enjoy that for 24 hours, and off it goes." I, I mean, and they, yeah, they really last forever. I mean, Nuclear power. I mean, they, these are quite expensive. I mean, in the UK, they're now about 220 pounds. Yeah, mil. it's hefty. So they're not cheap. You do, or they are cheaper in Italy. I mean, when we were in Italy, they're about 165 euros. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. But, but in terms of bang for your buck. It's, it's so it's, worth it. They yeah. really go a long way, don't they? And I mean, they're, they're, I think, are they EDP or are they even maybe X-ray? X-ray. Uh, X-ray. So you're, I mean, like a couple of sprays and, you, and you've got longevity. I mean, I've, I've worn it like a lot and I've only taken that much out of it. You know, and I, you know, I, it's sort of silly things, but just the, you know, the, the beauty on the bottle and the design is really nice. I know it's about the juice, but it feels good. It's always a pleasurable experience wearing this. Awesome stuff. Yeah. Right. Now, my first choice was an obvious one. The ones in between I was umming and ahhing about. But my last choice was an easy one. When we had a recent trip to, to Paris, um, oh, in which yes. we went to the Osmotex for loads of all perfumes. We went Amazing. to the airline store. Um, and, and so when I came back, um, I really had my mind kind of set. On you know I, uh, on what I wanted to buy next, um, and I bought it. So, so oh. here in this lovely little box, wow, is wow, 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 a um, a little. Oh. If you can see this from uh, September 1980. I'm so excited by this. A little, just a little 15 mil. Um, bottle of Mitsuka X-ray. So I really wanted to get an old. I've got X-rays of Shalimar and Jiki. I wanted to get a Shalimar wow. of Mitsuka, and I wanted to get an old one. And I was just lucky that this one was slightly mislisted. It was mislisted. It was listed as 7.5 mil when it's actually 15 mil. It didn't say vintage or old or anything like that. So I was lucky that I paid 40 pounds for this uh, 15 mil bottle. Um, Amazing. So when I got it. For people who own these bottles, you'll know oh. that it comes tied up with this little pit, piece of um, uh, string cord. I think it's maybe even silk. So you need to kind of unpick it because I wanted to keep it intact. Like yeah. I wanted to keep it intact. So you need to unpick it carefully. So this was unopened. So this was unopened. So for 40 oh. years, it had been all tied up. And then I so I carefully unpicked it so I could keep it intact. Then I couldn't take the stopper out because obviously the stopper, the glass stopper. See if I can open it. I can. Um, we have been there for 40 years. I couldn't open it, um, so I had to put it in the freezer for a short amount of time. Um, but it smells fucking great. I mean, it really, really. I, I was thinking, so how is it going to smell? This. Is it is, is it going to be spoiled? Is it going to be worth waiting for? Is it the same as modern Mitsuku? Um, but. Oh, okay. Like I've just been, I think it's abso absolutely incredible. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the most like, beautiful thing in the world. It's just this is the best fragrance I bought this year. No, no, yeah. no hesitation. This is the yeah. best fragrance I've, I've bought this year. 
Um, it's absolutely like the, the glorious. Opening, like the opening is so amazing, isn't it? It's so fruity, it's so spicy. Oh. Um, it's got a, it's got a lot more spice than, than much, what you're getting much, these days. Much isn't more it? spice than you get, but but you, but you get that, that that peachiness, which oh, in like for instance, so good. In modern EDP, the peachiness almost feels a little bit cloying, a little bit sickly. Here, yeah, it actually it's smells, sort of trying to assert itself. It actually somehow. smells like you're biting into a peach. Oh. It smells juicy and fresh. Wow. And and then the oak moss is real bitter, rich, hugging, sexy. The real settle. stuff. Perfumery has taken mm. a funny old direction since this, hasn't it? Because that's yeah. funny. I mean, oh, it's still, it's, <laughs> it, it feels like a wine that, you know, you just, you think, you, you take a taste and it changes every time in the glass and it's, yeah, it's, it's sort of so immediately fun. announcing yeah. itself as a journey, you know. Oh, and unmistakably Mitsuko as well. So I say hats off to them for still making something that smells in the ballpark, in the ballpark yeah, yeah. of that, but my god, that's so beautiful. And I was also, you know, having smelt mushroom oops. as well. Sorry, yeah, you know, I get that foresty quality, but you know, having obviously we went to smell kind of an original version mm. in Paris, and I'm familiar with you modern versions. I always kind of bought this one on eBay, thought, oh, is it going to be all right? And I, you know, couldn't open it, I had to put it in the freezer. Yeah. I, think I thought it was going to smell of piss, and um, but I'm so happy with it. It's right. really beautiful. So it is without a shadow of a doubt. I'm going to say my this is my yeah. best buy. I'm um, like unquestioning of 2019. Stunning, absolutely beautiful. Um, where to go from there? Well, I, I think I bought this this year. And Dan will know this well. Oh yes. Ottoman Empire Part Two. I craved this for a long time. By Arise Ladore. Arise Ladore and. There she is. I love this juice so much. Um, I've hardly worn any because I love it so much that I'm, mm -hmm. and it's, I mean, it's so limited that, you know, it's, it's gone now. If there'll be an Ottoman Empire part three, I'd be surprised. <laughs> I don't know, but my God. I mean, Dan, Dan knows this stuff well, don't you? You've, well, I, yeah, Dan introduced me to this. The, he has the original, but it's such the original formula and it's so beautiful. Can I give it a spray? Please, yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's opulence. It's, it's not worth even talking about the notes list because it has all of the notes, all of the notes. that were ever invented. Yeah. They're all in here. <laughs> I mean, if, if anything, if anything in this, Ooh, modern, okay. is, this modern age of perfumery can make a greater nod to the classics of the past, like Guerlain, it's this sort of stuff. But this is, I mean, this is so big, like it's so yeah. opulent. You know, bombastic almost, isn't it? it yeah, it totally is. It, it just it announces itself like a like a sort of great leader returning to the Senate. Yeah. Not Boris. <laughs> but uh, beautiful as well, uh, sort of inviting, enigmatic. You know, in, in one minute you can think, I get everything about this smell. I, I immediately get it. I know it. I understand it. And the next minute I'll say, no, you don't. You don't understand me at all. I'm going in this direction now. So beautiful. And also, um, I have to say, very reasonable cost-wise. No, it's sort of maybe vulgar to talk about that with all of these things, but it's not anywhere near as much as it could be. Mm. When you're I looking think, at the yeah. sort of the Roger Doves and that sort of thing that are out there these yeah, days, absolutely. I think that I thing think more than mean, holds itself. It's just not Roger Dove at the park. Really. Yeah. I mean, it's so stunning. Ev everything blended completely seamlessly, yet with this, this sort of like punchy quality as well. Like every now and then something just whacks you and says, right, have a bit of smoke, have a bit of, have a bit of leather. Oh, have a bit yeah. of oud. What about, don't forget the bright citruses at yeah. the top. And it just, it keeps sort of playing with your nose. Mm. Amazing. So those Good are selection our, here, I think. Our top 10 best buys of 2019. But I, I, I've got three others here, which are, Oh, which are, they're, they're so good, and I could have really, really easily included. So it's, I, yeah, it's hard, I would, isn't I would it? like to mention them. Shall I just go through these three? Yeah. So, uh, another one. Another great, great sheep bro. Francesca Bianchi, under my skin. Oh, yeah. I wore it the other day. I've been wearing it lots recently. Stunning. And it's, again, this is such a me fragrance. It's another sheep bro, really. <laughs> I mean, this, this is... But they're, they're great. They're, that's where we are. But it's a kind of leathery, orisey sheep bro, but it's... it's it's mm. such a rewarding fragrance to get. You just get so much from it. it. Develops loads. It's complex, but yet 
Oh, kind of wearable staggering. as well. It's not too weird or skanky. Under my skin from French. It, feel, it feels very human. Very nearly in my top five purchases. So yeah. I, I'm just I don't going through the other two. Another one, like, it's, you know, maybe surprising it wasn't in my top five because it's a great, great fragrance. It's Bengal Rouge uh, um, by yeah. Papillon. You can see how much I've worn it because I've worn it lots, especially in the winter. It's incredibly comforting. Yeah. A real nod to the past. Beautiful stuff. I mean, even off the cap, there's that just honeyed, rich yeah. sweetness. There's the rose combined with all that kind of Bengal. Nice tobacco y thing going on there yeah, as well. I mean, <laughs> it's just such a kind of happy making, deep, rich. Sensual, comforting mm. fragrance, as many of these. Very are. beautiful. Oh, again, I'm very. So I was surprised how many compliments I've received wearing this one. Really beautiful. But I can see why. I mean, it, it's immediately arresting. Bengal Rouge Papillon. Just, just Wonderful. one other, which I was really close to including in my list, um, which is Siberian Musk Part Two uh, yeah. by Arisha Dore. Joe mentioned Ottoman Empire Part Two. This is Siberian Musk, and this is one which I bought back in where it was, not April, but it's really coming into its own in the winter, I think, especially on the really, really cold days. It makes me feel like walking through a Siberian forest with snow on the floor and the smell of pine in yeah. the air, as if you're chasing a deer. Ah, I've, as well as this, I, I've also bought War and Peace and Antiquity buy from, from Marisa Dore. So I bought three from that house this year. And I have to say, I think this is my favorite Marisa Dore purchase um, of the year. And one of my favorite from the house, really, really. Nice. Absolutely gorgeous. So I've got three more here, which again, could have easily been in the video. And I just- Couldn't squeeze them in. Couldn't get them in, but I love them all. And tomorrow morning I might wake up and feel completely differently. So number one, is another Guerlain oh, vintage yeah. bottle of Derby. I already own the, the current stuff, but I had to get a bottle this of this. Special. It's so beautiful. Um, the main reason I bought it is the little bottle, which is really quite sexy. Um, but it is, it is different from the... Oh, it's yeah. really quite different from the... Darker, more leathery. And I think this is more of a leather Shepra, and the new stuff is like a nice sort of aromatic fougere yeah. style. Um, but. I mean, give that a spritz, see what you think. I won't, I won't, yeah. It's, de it's developing in the bottle and it's... Yes, but it's definitely got, it's more, got personality. The, one, the, the, the modern version is more about the older hides and kind of bright, energetic, whereas this one... Yeah. Is that has a bit of depth seat, to it. Yeah. Leather saddle. And it's got, it's got slightly more gothic sort of yeah. stuff like, you know, Artemisia and mm. like, w like a wormwoody, dark edge, I don't know. It smells of man. It does. Which is perfect for me because I am all man. Yeah. So that's that's, that's Derby. Especially with the beard. Do you like the beard, everyone? Comment below on the beard. I don't know what happened. This uh, morning I woke up and I had a beard and it's just ridiculous. So that's Derby. Oh, where's the little thing that goes with it? There's a little there's a little bit of paper there. It just goes in there. I don't know what it says, but it feels important. I'm gonna leave it. So I'll put that in there. So next is a slightly random choice. I'm saving the best to last, which could have got into the thing, isn't it? But this little bugger, Theophenol Scent, <laughs> which I bought for $7.99 in TK Maxx. But I've been looking out for this for a long time, and I've known it for a long time, and just not seen it anywhere. But this is, if you like Zalame from Papillon, this thing is really good. Yeah. It maybe goes on a little bit crude, but actually it's like a really dirty rose and saffron cumin. But then there's an orange blossom in the heart, and the base is all about lovely patchouli, patchouli vanilla -y musks. It's really, it's really mm. good by the time it starts to dry down. It's sexy. There's it's a real sort of dirt bomb, to that. Isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it, something about it I find really irresistible. Especially the opening is a bit rough, but the mm. dry down is really beautiful. It sort of takes you on, it takes <laughs> yeah. you on, a, on a little journey. Mm. I don't quite get the magic from the opening spray. No, the, the opening is rough. I mean, the, <laughs> the, op the opening isn't where it is at all. It's, it's when it dries down, but it, it, the, the rose starts to come through mm. and the stuff in the actually, base. All, but actually, I, I have to take that back. Already I'm getting a little bit of spicy, kind of cumin -y Yeah, it's just, it starts, to, it starts yeah. to work its way through gradually, gradually. Mm. Uh, stick that somewhere safe, and I swear yes. to God, in an hour, 
it starts to do some interesting things. Um, so last but not least, is this little oh. bugger here. Yes. Um, I've dropped something, that's probably expensive. we've had a day of sheep, Chris. Yeah, I mean, I've, this could easily have been in the, in the list. But I love it so much. And I thought we would get land out in the, in the list. And this, I say get land out, this isn't get land, but yeah. it's, the, it's the sort of inspiration there. There she is. We've talked about this on the mm. video before. Hasuna Hana. Very beautiful. All that lovely nutty, sort of nutty Gerland turn of the century. Can I give it a spray? Yeah, second. please. It's a beautiful, you know, beautiful citrusy opening. It's a very sheep room. Mossy, it? mossy Crikey. greenness underneath. A lovely sort of almondy, almondy warmth. Oh, if you make so sort of almond elegant. butter. Oris from the beginning as well. Yeah. Oh, as well as orange blossom as well. Such a balance yeah. of kind of bright uplifting as well as... That's what it does so well, actually. Yeah. Oh, God. That's Everything is in a perfect forget alignment. Forget how good that is. I mean, that could have been in the, in the top five, no problems at oh, all. In the bloom sale. If bloom yeah, do sale, it, absolutely. Might. Oh, that is so good. I mean, this, feel, you know, Shemel Nesim, Full Nana, and the modern stuff like Saffron Rose, um, mm. Sylvan Song, Elizabethan Bouquet. Not Elizabethan Bouquet, is it Elizabethan? I can't remember. But they do really nice things. Amazing. Well, so I there think we are. it's safe to say that 2019 has been a particularly fragrant year. We've done well, haven't we? So let us know what your best buys yeah. of the year have been. I mean, for us, it seems to have been, for both of us, quite a sheep It's brewery, very sheep isn't it? Every year. Yeah. So, so like, have you had a, a thing? Has your year been gourmand? Has it been kind of visionary? Yeah. Let us know. But until next year... Yeah, happy money. Don't go nuts and buy a load of stuff drunk over Christmas because we're going to do that and that's our idea. <laughs> until next year. Happy smelling. Happy sniffing.